Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. For those of you that may live near the Boston, Massachusetts area, there is a pen show coming up. Hopefully this video gets out there early enough for you to potentially participate. I uh, attended one year and I enjoyed the show. So if you're in the area, give it a shot. We're going to take a look at paper today. Um, I had to show you the packaging. Uh, this is from uh, my favorite local pen store, the pen thing. They have their own little wax seal. I mean, this is just <laughs> great. Uh, really nice touch. And so uh, we're going to evaluate this ink journal. Uh, Brian at the pen thing said, why don't you take a look at it and from what I've seen, I think this will be an interesting method of recording your ink. So let's open it up and take a look at it. Well, taking off the wrapping, we see this nice little pocket size notepad to be a ink swatch pilot log. So I think it's an interesting approach to this. I'll put a link to this uh, product in my description, but here's where you can purchase it from. And it just does a nice little job. It's nice to have a local store like this that you can stop in if you want to pick up some ink, some pens, or some paper. So this elastic band just slips off, so it's just nice to be able to use there to keep the notepad closed when not in use. And we'll see each of these pages and the paper right away feels very nice. It seems to be fairly well coated. And that's about everything you'd want to record about an ink. So that's very thorough. Um, so let's put some ink on here and see how it works. Here's the first ink that I used in the notepad. And I was Thinking purple, instead I should have wrote blue, because it is imperial blue. The ink that I put into the Fulluin 017 medium steel nib, I inked it up on September 1st. Uh, it's my remarks. So to me the swatch plot certainly gives you a lot of things to consider. Saturation flow, shading bleeding, feathering, dry time, sheen, halo, and shimmer, which I said was a one. I would have put a zero for some of those if I could. And overall ranking. So the overall ranking is where it is, is because to me saturation and flow are two important criteria in an ink. Shading is nice, but not necessary. Um, Bleeding and feathering. I, if you usually use good paper, you're not going to have an issue with that. Dry time is also important. You don't want an ink that stays wet forever, like some noodlers will on Tomo River paper. So one of the things that you'll notice about this paper is extremely high quality, at least from the way it feels. It has a good thickness to it. There is no show through, definitely no bleed through, so you can easily use both sides of these pages. And there's a number of men here. I'll give you the link to the website so you can get more details on it. So is this something that you would like? I mean, if, if you're into inks and you enjoy keeping a journal like this with your inks, I mean, this is perfect for that. Uh, right now, I, I, I keep a Inky Fingers sheet or pad, a little small little notepad that I say when I ink the pen and what ink I put in it, but it really doesn't allow me to put anything there about characteristics of the ink, so that's a nice feature. So, short video, small notebook, but something that doesn't exist, it's new. You may ask, how do I evaluate shading and sheen and those properties? Well, this is my Tomo River notepad, so I could, I've used these two inks and I've laid them down a little thick and I just use the nib. I'm not using any spatula or, or 
a way to just lay down a glob of ink, but I wanted to, to see if just through normal writing you would see any of those traits. And then I record them in my ink swatch. I just wanted to show another ink just to compare another dye mine ink. Sorry, I'm into dye mine inks, and I got a bunch of them at the pen thing recently, so that's why I've been into them. And this color is part of that guitar series. And yes, it's a little bit longer drawing time than the other diamine, the Imperial Blue. But I like the saturation, I like the flow, it has more shading than the Imperial Blue, and, and more shading, I'd say, than most, most inks. It does bleed and feather, and I write on copy paper to try out those two characteristics. And the dry time is, maybe I could have made it a three. No sheen, halo, or shimmer. And originally I, I gave it a 7, but then I, uh, sorry, I gave it a 6, but I upped it to a 7 because I felt that was more appropriate, or let's call it 6.5, but we really shouldn't do that. And I don't remember how that blotch got there, but this is how it looks like with another ink on it. I don't know anybody else uh, providing you with this type of quality um, and this uh, <clears throat> type of detail that you can use to record your inks. So we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Um, may you have many great writing experiences. May you find something nice to keep your writing experiences documented in. I, uh, I keep a, a journal just on uh, pens and inks and, and my thoughts on, on those things. So um, what do you do? So may you have many great writing experiences. Enjoy putting ink on paper. Enjoy the paper. Enjoy the ink especially enjoy the pen. We're going to say bye until the next video.